What's up, Mr. John Black? It's Mr. Robert Plank. So you measure and mitigate electromagnetic fields in home and work environments. Okay, so you gave me a website here. And um, so we're going to look up and see what other people are saying about this kind of stuff. So we'll say EMF and we'll say we want to search just books. Okay, and then we want Kindle books. Okay, so what we're looking at is we're trying to see um, just sort of eyeballing who, I, how many reviews people get, right? So we have this dirty electricity, we have this zapped, and we have the health alert. So it looks like it's kind of kind of hit or miss, right? Like there's this one, there's one the um, reduce your radiation exposure, and only a couple people are looking into that. And for some reason, these ones that are about like the hazards or um, electrification or the sensitivity thing. So I think that what what we I don't know like see what we're seeing there's a handful that are doing really well and a ton that aren't. And so I wouldn't look at the ones that are doing really well and sort of try to figure out why that is. So we're looking at a couple and it might just be that. I don't know, like I'm sort of looking at this and I think that um, like the the general public, I think they do believe that like your cell phone could be harmful. But then a lot of the like the people who said like I'm allergic and stuff like I don't know if that is uh, what people are actually looking up here. And so you see what I mean? Like some of these like are just whoops, wherever that went like this fifth element of help, like some of them get a little like spiritual and supernatural right and then we'll look at this too so i mean um i'm gonna look at uh the reviews and the table of contents so talk about children babies light bulbs inverter systems and um okay so we'll look at the one star reviews to see what people don't like about the book so it's uh, not scientific and tinfoil mittens and the scare book. Okay, so I mean that's that's actually pretty good. So let's make sure that we have a section in our book because I think I think that's a pretty valid question. Is uh, EMF safety? So a really valid question is um, is uh, and what would you even call it? Like dirty electricity and EMF sensitivity real uh, or like how made up is it? Right, and you can actually like show some like scientific uh, facts and statistics, right? So that that way we can differentiate between, and I think that's sort of what I was going for. That you saw that there were a lot of books there that didn't seem to have a lot of reviews because they were more scare books, and then the ones that are more of like, okay, like the ones that are more scientific look like they're more okay. So we'll look at cell phone, laptop, Wi-Fi. So. Um, so we've got Alzheimer's, birth defects, sensitivity. Okay, so um, just kind of as this is coming together, what comes to mind for me, if I can find the um, tab here. So it, is it, like how real is it, right? And then what are the top four most common dangers with EMF, such as uh, like phone, Wi-Fi and all that, uh, and like what are the the um, the danger the dangers or symptoms, and I need to make this right aligned. What are the dangers or symptoms of electromagnetic radiation? Okay, and um, so there's the science, there's the grounding. So maybe like what are the common solutions such as grounding, right? What are some easy solution, uh, but important solutions to EMF such as grounding, grounding. Okay. And so there's like foods and supplements. Okay. So uh, grounding uh, imp or our important foods and supplements. Okay. And 
All right, so now that we've looked at the reviews for this one, I'm going to look at the table of contents and we'll see zap proofing your phone, your kids. So, um, so like how zap proofed are you like a, a test or something? So we could say um, how at risk am I to EMFs and how um, uh, what like how safe is my home? And then, so what are the most so we're, so we're starting to kind of get somewhere, right? Like tell them about the danger. Uh, how what's right near in your immediate vicinity in your home? What's the top four things to do? So the dangers could kind of be uh, in there. Okay, so let's look at some more stuff. So. So uh, kids and stuff like that. What are some uh, not very well-known zappers, right, as they call it? So uh, what special uh, steps should I take to make sure uh, my children are safe? And then what are some, uh, like, surprising ways uh, that I um, can get irradiated? And how do I fix it? And okay, so we'll close that tab. So people don't like that one. People say that one's fake research. Let's check out this one. So I'm noticing um, some of the common, I'm seeing like uh, cell phone radiation. I'm seeing dirty electricity. So we're going to make sure we make a note of that. So we talk about. Um, dirty electricity cell phone radiation and what that makes me think to do is I'm going to and we'll look at your EMF safety solution so you have exposure and all that and you have the services and so let's I mean let's kind of work this into the book the what is an EMF assessment and consultation package where you kind of pitch your service right so what is an EMF consultation pack, like assessment and consultation package? And okay, so I've got what I need out of that. And so something else I want to kind of search for is like cell phone radiation because we might have a ton of, um, so there's this disconnect book and electromagnetic radiation, um, electromagnetic radiation. So I'm not sure what your title is going to end up being. That's something that I would do after you speak out your book. But these are the, I would for sure work in electromagnetic radiation, EMF, dirty electricity, cell phone radiation, because it seems like these are at least somewhat searched for except for there's some of these sort of cheap looking scare books which have only one review zero reviews and the other thing we were gonna search for uh, was let's see dirty electricity so dirty electricity and we're pretty much getting I mean I'll check out a couple of those overpowered okay so this disconnect, I noticed that someone in the reviews mentioned it. So we'll check out the table of contents and um, animals, kids. Okay. So the, the chapter titles are kind of cutesy. So I'm, I'm more curious about the reviews. So we'll look at the reviews, the good and the bad. So the good is it's the best book on the topic and there's the doctors and the complaints are that um, that it's too much on the problem, not the solution. And chemi cleaning chemicals. So they focus too much on the cell phone research. And then I kind of like this, like, how, how, what do I do if my job requires me to have a cell phone? Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm sort of feeling almost a little tapped out. So we're going to look at the last couple. 
um, circuits, magnetic fields, misconceptions. So let's see how many more of these we need. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need two more. And how about that? How about like, um, what are some common misconceptions or misunderstandings with EMF? And um, my children and pets. I saw a little bit of that. And okay, so that was more of like a um, an electrician's guide. So this is um, everyday hazards. So TV, microwave ovens, melatonin. Okay. So supplements such as melatonin, uh, TV, microwave oven, etc. So we're looking for one, whoops, looking for one more, which would be easy to do uh, if we kind of just look at the reviews and a table of contents. <clears throat> so how to test ourselves and the meters and um and then we'll look at the table so i so it looks like this particular book talks a lot about the the meters the testing right so um we'll say things like um like how do i test uh or like what what equipment do i use to test uh the danger level in my home all right great so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we'll narrow this down to seven so is it real what are the dangers how at risk am i how do i test children and pets little known ways, consultation, misunderstandings. Okay, so I like the idea of kind of putting the misunderstandings just before the consultation and sort of, well, hmm. Because like, see, the, the problem in putting the misunderstandings first is we don't want it to be just a really dry book. Like we saw a lot of the reviews uh, said that the authors focus too much on the cell phone radiation stuff. So we want to make sure to jump to the, the interesting stuff early, right? So is it real? What are the dangers? How risk am I at? So maybe let's put the top four dangers there. And then now that I've sort of scared you, now here's the equipment to test. And then here are some solutions. And then here is what the, uh, the children can be fixed. So surprising ways, maybe I want to kind of put it after the top four. And then, so solutions, children, pets, misunderstandings. So that's my only really kind of area where I'm stuck there is do I want to move this uh, earlier up? So surprising ways can get irradiated. So maybe we should uh, merge this with the misunderstandings, right? And so like, what are some misunderstandings with EMF? All right, so delete that. And uh, next, I think we'll just merge this. How safe is my home? We'll leave that one. So we should have one left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So the dangers, the top four most common. And uh, what, like, what are the general dangers? right so in general like what are the things that could happen to you and then here are like the top four so how about this let's put the top four first to kind of get their attention give them something really practical first then they can look at some additional other things uh, and then now how do i fix it how do i test the danger level so maybe we should put the danger level uh, testing after how safe is my home and we need we still need to merge or delete one of these uh, how safe is my home and how do i test it okay 
So there we go. That Those are what I think should be the seven chapters in your book. And then what you do from here on out is you break each part down to the why, what, and whoops, <coughs> how to, and what if. So, so uh, why is EMF a, a real danger uh, to you and every and in your household, everyone in my household? Because this way, uh, we read this as if someone is asking the question to us, and what is EMF radiation and what causes it? And then we can say now, um, it can say, so for this one, the how to doesn't apply too much, but we can say things like, uh, so this is where we have the facts, right? So how made up, like how real or made up is EMF and what, uh, what science backs it up, whatever that is for you. And then now we can say, uh, now as far as this EMF thing, now that I know that it's uh, it's real. Now, what do I look for? So now, now that I know uh, EMF radiation is real, what should I be looking for or be concerned about? So you do that for each of these remaining chapters: why, what, how to, what if, and if something doesn't really quite fit in, then you can um, put one of the sub questions in here. So I'll give you one final example. Uh, so we can say, so an EMF assessment and consultation package. And so now we say, why is it important that uh, that someone uh, scans your home for EMF sources? And then what is an EMF assessment and consultation exactly? Uh, and then, so then now the how-to is like, what are the steps you're going to take, right? So what are the exact steps someone performs with an assessment and consultation package? And then I can ask the why, or the, I'm sorry, the, the what if, right? Which is what if I go and do this? So this is where can I claim an assessment and consultation package? Great. So the way that this ends up uh, coming out is we first sort of justify that it's real and, you know, what proof and facts we can provide about that. Now somebody now somebody knows what EMF is, then they, you can list the top four areas where uh, they're probably getting sick or, or whatever is happening to them. Then you can say, OK, like. I gave you those four examples of things in your home. So now what are the dangers and the, what kind of things are in, in your home? And I think we mentioned the symptoms somewhere in here, right? So yeah, I want to make sure. So yeah, what are the dangers or symptoms? So like really important that this is to specifically list like if these uh, discomforts or these ailments are caused by it, this is where you break that down. So once again, what is it? Uh, what are the top four sources? What are the symptoms and where is it in my home? What are some things I hadn't even considered? And then what are some easy solutions like grounding or these supplements or these foods? What do I do specifically for my children and pets? And then now that we've educated them, how do you claim this package? And so what we do is for each of these seven chapters here, Break it down to why, what, how to, what if. Speak each of these sections for two minutes each. Gives you a 56-minute, 30 or so page book. So anyway, I hope that helps, Mr. John, about uh, what you're planning for that electromagnetic radiation safety book. That is uh, what I, how I would lay it out based on what others are doing and what it sounds like you guys want to do with your EMF safety solutions. Anyway, uh, nice talking to you, Robert Plank. Thanks for writing in. There's my answer. Have a great one. Bye now.